In this day of changing technology, there's always something new. How often do you read a magazine or a newspaper or hear a report on the television or the radio about some new laser treatment for this or some new laser treatment for that? But how do you know if these new things really are good? My job as a laser researcher is to help you understand what's good and maybe what's not quite ready for prime time. There are several different reasons that we do research. Some projects are geared towards developing new devices which are not on the market at all now. Other projects are geared towards taking an existing product and applying it into a new area so as to produce results that we've not been able to achieve otherwise. And the third type of research that we'll do is to take existing devices in areas where they're known to be effective, but develop ways to make them safer, more effective, and with maybe less recovery time or better outcomes. Over the course of the years, we've done projects ranging from developing new skin tightening devices. I developed the thermage application for tightening eyelids non-invasively. We've looked at ways to enhance the outcomes of laser resurfacing procedures on the eyelids and face. We've worked on developing a topically applied botulinum toxin cream to get the benefits of Botox and Dysport, but without having to have a needle injection. Also, I've done work on a facial revolumization product to help make people look more youthful without surgery. We often look to our patients for volunteers who are interested in being these subjects. Check out our website at drbeisman.com. Go to the research section to learn what we're doing now and see if you might be a candidate to be in one of our studies.